Good morning, Mario, and good morning, Switch fans. I'm back after a little PTO, got a nice little rejuvenation session, and I came back at the perfect time because today is an amazing day, and we are jam-packed with just beautiful news and updates, including everything dropped at the Pokemon Presents, which blew my mind. Nintendo announces a new special edition system. We got amazing progress for gamers with this ability and We've got some awesome news about an upcoming Switch game. So this is a phenomenal show. Make sure to smash that like button and let me know if you're excited in the comments down below. I appreciate all of you being here. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, ring that notification bell. It's a special little song that helps you know exactly when I upload. Sorry for missing the past couple of days. I just needed a little refresh, but this is awesome. But before I fill you in on the crazy surprises that Pokemon just blew me away with, I wanna start with one that I think deserves deserves some shine, all right? This warms my heart. Hori is an accessory maker. They've worked with Nintendo on plenty of Switch accessories, but they just updated their most important accessory yet. They're bringing their Hori Flex controller, which is an assistive accessibility controller, to the US for purchase. Now, to me, this is a big deal because it's helping people who couldn't normally play Nintendo Switch play Nintendo Switch, which is a beautiful moment. Like, imagine for a second, if you saw all the cool Switch games, but you couldn't play them. And now with something like this, it's available to buy so that you can play them. This controller was announced last year, but it was very hard to get and it wasn't available really in the United States and it was prohibitively expensive. But now thankfully, Hori has partnered with Inclusive TLC to release the controller in the US and they have brought the price down. It is still an expensive piece of tech, but it's also doing a lot and it's making a big difference for gamers that need stuff like this. And to me, that's a really important move. And I'm glad that Hori decided to not only focus the dollars and time to build this thing, but that they are working to bring it to more regions, more territories, and make more gamers happy. Is your Switch feeling hungry for a new game? Well, I've got great news for you, my friends, because today's video is brought to you by All In Games and their latest Switch title, Fort Triumph. It's available on other platforms, but on Switch, they're doing a 25% off launch week discount to help you get the game at a great price. And if you ever played XCOM, this is XCOM, but with goblins, undead, mages, and paladins. It's fantasy turn-based tactics, and the developers at Cookie Bite Entertainment have implemented this awesome physics-based combat system where everything in the procedurally generated maps can be a weapon. You're flinging trees and throwing rocks and knocking stuff into foes to take them down. So why not take a look down in the description below and click that link to check out Fort Triumph today. Every time you do, it helps support Switch Force and this game has very strategic combat, something I think you can really dig your teeth in. Plus, it's got base building, PvP, and co-op, so it is a complete package. So make sure to click the link in the description down below and check out Fort Triumph. Early impressions say that it is a very helpful and fantastic piece of tech, and early rumblings of Metroid Dread are very, very promising. I didn't have a chance to mention this the past couple of days, but I just want to let you know that Metroid Dread is the number one pre-ordered Switch game at GameStop since E3. Now that is something definitely to hoop and holler about Metroid making moves and becoming the franchise we've always wanted it to be. I will note that it's since E3 and that was the biggest E3 announcement, whereas the Pokemon titles were announced prior to E3. So those pre-order numbers were probably higher at reveal and then dwindled a bit, but this is still very good news. I don't think people expected Metroid Dread to be leading the charge in any capacity. And it's good to know that as we approach October, that one is heating up. But I'm getting hot, so we better get into the real deal, which is the Pokemon Presents. Who, baby? Look, I've played Pokemon since I was in a tent in my backyard when I was seven years old, all right? I sat there with my Game Boy Color and I was like, dude, this is the game I dreamed of. But I imagined it looking different. I saw it in my eye being something more than what was on the little pixelated screen. And today, we realize it. All right, Pokemon Legends Arceus, I have chills because that game does a beautiful thing. It takes Pokemon to the place that I think many longtime fans have always wanted it to go, which is open world, Breath of the Wild, your player character can get damaged, glory and goodness. 
All right, I'm gonna rave a lot about that one, but let me also tell you that Nintendo announced a special Nintendo Switch Lite. Now, some people thought they would do a new Switch OLED, but I guess they already have two Switch OLEDs to push in October, so they're doing another Switch Lite for Dialga and Palkia. Yep, that's for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. It's out on November 5th, and it's a very low-key colorway. It's actually bringing kind of a gray-black to the system. It's reminiscent of the Onyx DS Lite they did with these same characters way back when, and I know that a lot of Poke fans are gonna be pretty pumped about this one. And the Switch Lite, apparently it has kind of slimmed down in sales, so Pokemon, of course, is a great way to push that again, and there'll be a lot of players that wanna get in on these Pokemon titles but maybe don't want to spend for a full Switch. It's a portable focus system, it's $200, and now it comes with Dialga and Palkia on November 5th. Let me know in the comments down below if you plan to upgrade your Switch collection. I hope that eventually they do come out with something special for Pokemon Legends because that game deserves it, but Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl looks a little more brilliant. All right, it seems like they've majorly improved the lighting in the game. That's the thing I noticed the most about why the graphics are getting better reviews. It looks like they've added just a lot of smoothing, a lot of colors, a lot of lighting, and it just has a more charming and almost mystical feel to the world. It looks more exciting. They, they left it less flat and they added more dynamics to the visuals, even if the characters are still all short and squat. They've made a few adjustments to the game. They focused today on talking about how the underground is revamped. They've added these Pokemon hideaways where you can catch Pokemon underground. They've brought back seals as stickers. They've added a Pokemon union room, and they have added a lot of colorful customization for your clothing, which I think a lot of players will enjoy. I always like nice fashion, and these Poke characters, I mean, mm, they're looking pretty hot. Now, I did see people wishing that they would have added more, maybe something new for Dialga and Palkia, maybe something new story-wise. It seems like the big gain here, besides the graphical overhaul, is that Pokemon can follow you again, which I know is slight, but that is a really fun feature, and it's one that does make the world feel a whole lot more lifelike. Seeing Tangrowth wobble and waddle through the roots is pretty darn cool. Before we get any further, please let me know how you feel about these games. Did they make your heart? Boom, 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 I wanna hear from you. Or were you just disappointed somehow? But it is hard to ignore the fact that this gap is being established between what Pokemon was and what Pokemon will be. Because again, Pokemon Legends Arceus is taking things to a new level. And frankly, I am impressed and shocked that the Pokemon Company and Game Freak decided to evolve things this far. Yeah, your player character can be injured. Yeah, you're running around this new region, well, sort of new, maybe more like old Hisui region that is filled with mystery, intrigue, and a whole lot of missions. Breath of the Wild meets Pokemon is now reality. And I think the game looks better than it did in its initial showing. One, because they just showed off much more of the game and what you're gonna be doing moment to moment, but also it does look like the frame rate and things are improved. Pokemon Legends Arceus is not a graphical showpiece, but it does have a nice art style. And the difference between, you know, like pure processing power and design, that's one that's important to make. And I think this game does have a nice aesthetic, very much buying into that whole, like this is the first Pokedex, right? There's the old fashioned element to it, but the game itself is definitely very forward looking. There's even a new battle system as you run around, toss out your Pokeball and boom. Now we have this system where your Pokemon might attack multiple times in a row. It might get multiple turns. And there's two different styles, strong style and agile style to help dictate the flow of battle. Do you want more power or do you want more moves? Do you want a little bit of speed or do you want to finish the fight? And you're gonna be fighting some really menacing looking Pokemon who attack out in the open, in the wild, as you try to catch them, you try to battle them, you try to research them for your team back at base. Now they haven't really revealed the villain. They did show Arceus is kind of doing things, seems to be like mesmerizing Pokemon or they're turning all red eyed and spooky. So we'll have to see more on the story later. There is a little bit of a team galaxy in there. So maybe this does get a little bit evil and develop into something that we have seen before. But I'm just so impressed that they did go all the way. Right, they could have just done like, oh, it's a big wild area for a full game, but no, they decided that they were going to make this really feel different. And I feel like there's no turning back. Like once you do Pokemon Legends Arceus, how could you ever return to what it was before? I know there's always gonna be a love for the traditional Pokemon gameplay, and maybe that's where the remakes fall. 
You can do, you know, a new gold and silver type game. You've obviously got diamond and pearl, but maybe the future of Pokemon is this direction. I just love the way that you can move, fly on the Pokemon, ride them in the water. They've got new forms and new evolutions, making this not just old, but totally new. And look, I know it's easy to get won over by visual flair, and when we see things that look great, we're like, oh wow, it's gonna be fun to be a part of this, but do the mechanics hold up? And here I think that they have merged new visuals and new expansive world with new mechanics that truly are taking Pokemon to a new place. We've kind of been waiting for this, and even though Sword and Shield were the new Gen 8 games that did take place on the Switch, a home console for the first time, it feels like Legends Arceus is the real deal evolution of Pokemon. It feels like this is the Switch title we've been waiting for, and we don't have to wait much longer because there's no delays. This game is dropping in January, and that's closer than you might think. 2021 is really moving fast. We're almost to fall. August is like wrapping up. The September Direct is closer than you might think. And Pokemon Legends, it just feels like a game that is going to bring me back to this franchise hardcore. Look, I won't lie to you. I, I think playing Pokemon again and again and again does wear a bit thin for me. But the fact that they are taking things in a new direction and they are revamping and invigorating this series with something wholly new and something that does appeal to me personally as a gamer who loves Breath of the Wild and likes my more big, expansive, forward-thinking, progressive 2021 type titles, this one coming in 2022 seems like it is going to be a dream come true. And as somebody who's real big on good vibes and positivity, you know this about me, it just warms my heart to see everybody so darn geeked. All the OMGs in the chat, all the hard eyes on Twitter, people are pumped for Pokemon Legends. And with both these titles releasing close by, there's a little Pokemon for everybody. They are doing this anniversary right. Take note, Nintendo, with The Legend of Zelda, you dropped the ball, but Pokemon is delivering. They also promised updates for Unite and Go and Cafe Remix, but all the attention and love deserves to be on Brilliant Diamond and the moves they've made there and then on Legends Arceus because that game... <sighs> and I am riding high on the Poke Juice, but I will note that I wish the graphics were better. This is where you really do wish the Switch did have upgraded internals to make things look a little crisper, a little less blurry, and they could do more to forward things from a graphical standpoint. It's not like a bummer or anything, but I do notice like, whoa, this could look a lot better if they were given the hardware to make that happen. Maybe one day. Nintendo Switch's coming lineup is one for the ages, and I'm so excited to share it with you. You know I got you covered. Soon as that Direct drops, boom, we're there. And whatever else Nintendo announces between then and now, I got you. Thank you so much for watching. Good morning, Mario. Let's get to our poll, all right? I'd like to ask you guys what you all are thinking. And this one was about movies and TV shows. All right, games aren't everything, but they are a big part. Movies and TV shows, though, a lot of fun during the downtime. Are you a movie person? Are you a TV show person? Well, 59% of you pick TV shows, and I've oddly always been a movie person. I think there's something about the drama, the intrigue, and the writing of film that just grabs me a bit more. I love being fully immersed, and I look forward to new movies, I think, more than I look forward to TV shows. But I have been big lately on TV show watching, I thought I'd let you know what I have been watching, which is Behind the Attraction, a fantastic deep dive into Disney on Disney+. Plus. Ted Lasso season two, just a feel good show, not really super plot driven, but feel good. And then I watched Dave season two, which to me was nowhere near as good as Dave season one, but still a very intriguing and sometimes shocking watch. I'm planning to check out Nine Perfect Strangers on Hulu this week, so let me know what y'all are watching, movies or TV shows. I'd love to hear from you, and make sure to stay tuned for more Good Morning Mario action tomorrow. Thanks a lot for being here. Make sure to check out Fort Triumph, link in the description down below. It does help support the channel, and I appreciate all that you do for me, so I'm gonna keep giving back as best I can. In the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive out there. I love you guys a lot. Till tomorrow, Switch Force, out.